ערב, Good evening, dear ladies. בסייעתא דשמיא, this Shabbat is פרשת נוח, we started the year, and let's start by blessing and asking from Hashem, בעזרת השם, that we will all have the merit to greet משיח צדקנו ברחמים ברורים במהרה בימינו אמן. אליהו נביא אליהו תשפילהו גלדי, במהרה במשך דוד אליהו נביא זכרו לטוב. And may we all have the credit, the, the merit, בעזרת השם. to see the building of Beit HaMendash השישי במהרה בימינו, אמן, כעין בין רבי שוב אדני ציון. אתה תקום תרחם ציון כי עת לחננה כי בא מועד. השיבנו אדוני אליך ונשוב אחדש ימינו כקדם. And we all have the zכות to go to ארץ ישראל on the wings of eagle, and may we all have part in ארץ ישראל. בשם השם נעשה ונצליח, אין עוד מלבדו השם, שפתי תפתח ופי הגית תהילתך. So the שיעור is also for רפואה שלמה to כלל ישראל. בעזרת השם, מאלף עד תף, mentally and physically, and among them, אביגיל פרידה בת שושנה, that had a surgery, this is a, it's a young girl that had a surgery this morning, בעזרת השם, בשרות טובות, רפואה שלמה, חנה תהילה בת זיזת, נתן ראובן בן דליה, ישראל איזה בן לאה חיה, אלינור בת אסתר, שלמה בן עיישה, אנג'לה עדינה בת גולצ'רה. חי עדית יהודית בת רחל, רחל בת פסיה, שרה רחל בת חסידה שרה, and everybody that needs, and בעזרת השם, also יונה בת שרה זוהרה. אמן. בעזרת השם, everybody that needs, from א' to ת' בסייעתא דשמיא. So, dear ladies, we are starting פרשת נוח, and let's see what's going on. השם created the world, the first portion is about the six days of creation and the seventh day, which is Shabbat, that Hashem is resting. And then we see, after the episode of Cain and Hevel, and we see the creation of humanity, we see at the end that it says, ויער השם כי רבה רעת האדם בארץ וכל יצר מחשבות ליבו רק רע כל היום. So we see that Hashem saw that the wickedness of human beings, that it was so great upon earth, and every product of their thoughts of, and in their hearts was only evil. שלא נדע. So, וינחם השם כי עשה את האדם בארץ ויתעצב בליבו, and it's written that Hashem reconsidered having made man on earth. And this is the, the portion of Bereshit, is the creation of humanity. And he had a heartfelt sadness. And it says, it continues, it says, Vayomer Hashem emche et ha'adam asher barati. And Hashem decides, I will bloat out, I will eliminate man whom I created from the face of the ground. Me'al p'nei ha'adama. Me'adam ad behema, from humans to... Uh, Animals, ad remes v'chol of shamayim ki nichamti ki asitim. And every bird and every, uh, and every uh, animal that, that is creeping, all the creeping things, and also all of the birds in the sky. For I have reconsidered my having made them. But at the end, it's written, v'noach matzachen b'enei Hashem. And at the end it says, but Noach found grace in the eyes of Hashem. Can you imagine? If Chas Shalom Hashem would wipe out all of humanity, there wouldn't be a continuation. But Noach was the one who was, who was alive, him and his children and their wives. And from this, there was the beginning of the new world. From Noach and his children and their wives and his wife. Besiat Anishmat. And then, uh, can you please mute yourselves? Can you please mute yourselves? Okay. And then we start Parashat Noach. So the end of Parashat Bereshit speaks about the evilness of human beings. So what did human beings do? Because only us, only human beings can ruin the world. Hashem created... a man and a woman. And we see over here, it says, in Parashat Noach Rashi says, that, that even the animals, like a, a dog went to a wolf, and like a chicken went to a... How do you call it? Tavas. Tavas, yes. Peacock. 
pick up. So they they needed they had relationships with relationships with Tavas Lord Lord Barvaz relationships with animals that were not the same kind. So they ruined the sperm and and every and they made gazelle, which means they, they they made thefts from each other and they didn't listen to Hashem and they because they were big and because they felt um, and because they felt that if if, if a, a flood will come to this earth even when Noah told them they are so uh, tall and so big they were giants so they said with their, our legs we can close the opening of the ground that water from the inside warm water that comes from the inside of earth won't go out and we will go to the top of the mountains and nothing will happen to us but you see when Hashem wants something there's nothing to stand in front of Hashem because Hashem is the creator of the world the whole world is God and God is the whole world the essence of the whole world is God you know but there's a very um, a question mark, mark about about this, uh, which regards human beings, because we are created a physical body that was created on the sixth day, and a soul that Hashem gave us that was created on the first day of creation. And the spirit of Hashem is above the water. This is the soul that Hashem created, including the soul of Mashiach. So, and the sixth day, the body of the human being was created. And because we are all, without the essence of the livelihood that Hashem gave us, we're not alive. The body goes back to earth. We came from earth, we, the body was created from earth and goes back to earth. So it's nonsense to think that we can rule and do whatever we want and there's, we, don't, we don't give judgment to anyone. We are just visitors in, the, in this world. We come in, if we came to this world, we know we go out. And all of the time that we are in this world and the test that we have during the, and all of the challenges that we have from the moment that we are born until the moment that we pass away from this world, these are tests and challenges of faith. But the evil inclination works very hard, hard on us and our pride, we forget when we have, when the pride goes up, we forget who we are, where we came from and where we're going to. So we see over here that Hashem considered to bloat out all of humanity, including animals and the birds in the sky, and only the fish weren't hurt. So we can see over here, we, we, this is the end of Parashat Bereshit, the portion of Bereshit. But we see that Noach, Hashem, Hashem saw Noach, but Noach found grace in the eyes of Hashem. And it starts, Ele toldot Noach, these are the offsprings of Noach, and again Noach, twice the, the name of Noach. Noach, each tzaddik Noach was righteous, and a righteous man. Tamim hayabedorotav, perfect in his generations. And it's written, Et ha'elokim italech Noach, and Noach walked with God. So there's a big question, how did Noach survive? What happened here? So there's uh, explanations by our sages that some say that Noah was very righteous, not only in his generations, but if it would have been in a generation that humanity were wicked and didn't want to listen to Hashem and do whatever they want, as Lachat Kamar Bechama, furthermore, in a generation like the generation of Abraham Avinu, if he would cling to Abraham Avinu, he would be more righteous. And there are some that say that he was only righteous in that generation. If he would have been in the generation of Avraham Avinu, he wouldn't be a, 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 a considered a graceful because Avraham Avinu was more graceful. So I would like to tell you that in a generation of wicked people, it's so hard to stay righteous. It's so hard with the pressure, with the social pressure that is in, on a human being to cling to Hashem and stay in the right way and to cling to the truth and stay in the right way even though all of, of the thoughts of other human beings and, and their ways and that when they make good, good things, they consider good things to bad things and bad things to good things, they change everything, they flip the, the good to not good and good and not good to good it's very hard to stay righteous and, and to cling to the truth and, and to cling to Hashem. So 
in my opinion, Noach was very righteous and to teach his children to stay righteous and to cling to Hashem, that's also a big... Look at us in our generation. It's so hard to educate our children. Children learn by example, and it's very hard. It's very hard. It's, uh, we see this is the generation of Mashiach. So God, you can think about Noach and his three boys, Shem, Cham, Ve'yefet, that he, that he taught them, and from them all of humanity came after the flood. So the question is, what did Noach do that he found grace in the eyes of Hashem? What did he do? So it says in Masachet Sanhedrin, page 108, Amud Aleph, Devei Rabbi Ishmael, Rabbi Ishmael says, Af al Noach nechtach kzar din, ela shematzachen b'nei Hashem. Even Noach, the decree to eliminate, to blot out all humanity even was also on Noah, but he found grace in the eyes of Hashem. And the question is, we know that it's written in, in Chumash Dvarim, Parashat Ekev, it's written over there, which is Hashem doesn't show favor and doesn't, and, and doesn't accept bribe. So what happened? What did Noah do? that Hashem helped him and he found grace in the eyes of Hashem. So there's a beautiful thing that uh, Rabbi Pinchas Friedman refers to, uh, refers to Orach Chaim HaKadosh, and it's written at the end of Parashat Bereshit, in Orach Chaim HaKadosh. Rabbi Chaim ben Atar, Allah v'shalom z'chotot again elenu. It's written like this, V'noach matzachen b'nei Hashem, at the end of Parashat Bereshit, that Noach, uh, that, uh, Noach uh, had found grace in the eyes of Hashem. Perush, lo letzad ma'asav, not not because only because of his actions. Ki bevchina ta chazara she chazara Hashem ibriat Adam, which means Hashem decided to bloat out men all all over the world, and it says over here that Hashem decided this, and even a righteous person cannot go. You remember, get not go out of the decree. Because once there's decree in heaven, righteous and not righteous, they all go away. They all pass away. And you remember we studied about Yechezkel Masechet Shabbat, that Yechezkel, that there was an angel in the book of Yechezkel, the prophet, we see that an angel comes to Yerushalayim and Hashem tells him to write the Ot Taf, the last letter of the Hebrew Aleph Debet, on, on the heads of the righteous to write it with ink and on the heads of the non-righteous to write it with blood. And this is Tichye, which means the righteous will live. Tichye means live and the, and the wicked, Tamut, they will die. But dear ladies, then the judgment, the measure of judgment came to Hashem and, she's, and the measure of some judgment said, well, they could revoke all of the wicked and tell, told them to do tshuva and to follow the way of Hashem and to seek the truth. So what happened over here? So Hashem told them, but I know that even if the righteous would, the righteous tzaddikim will tell them to, to, to do tshuva, to repent and to follow the way of Hashem and all of us, and all of us do the will of Hashem, they wouldn't listen to them. So the measure of judgment said, okay Hashem, you know that, but the righteous do not know that, that they won't listen to them. They should have made the effort. That it's your duty to, 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 uh, to give the truth and to revoke uh, the people that you see that they don't go in the right way, your children, the, your siblings, and to tell them in a nice way to, to straighten themselves in the path of Hashem, in the path of the truth, because Hashem is truth. The sealing of Hashem is truth, emit. So we see over here that it says, and it says, King Solomon says, Ki ein tzaddik asher tov There's no righteous person that will do good and won't have a sin. We are all human beings. And where are the sins are written? It's written on our bones and our, on our forehead. That's, when, that's why when there's a plague, you should stay at home because the, destruct, the destructive angels go out. This is what the Zohar Kadosh says about Parashat Noach. Why was Noach hidden in the Teva and the Ark? Because the destructive angels got a permission to destroy the world. 
So once they got the permission, they see our sins on our forehead. And because of this, Noah was in the ark. So once you're inside and you're not outside, they cannot harm you. So we see over here, this is like a plague, the, the flood. So we see that even Noah was supposed to, to be eliminated. And this is why the Torah says, which means that he had grace in the eyes of Hashem and he didn't bloat him out. And this doesn't mean that he wasn't righteous. He was righteous, but there's no righteous on earth, says King Solomon, that won't sin. Got once angry, said something that wasn't in place. There's no righteous person that won't, because we're all human beings. Because once there's a decree, even though he was a, a, a tzaddik, this is the Or Chaim, what he says in the, at the end of Parashat Bereshit, that his righteousness cannot save him, because it's, it's a decree over humanity. Only, why did he have grace in the eyes of Hashem? Because of the mitzvot, of the commandments that he kept. But there wasn't a Torah then. But we know that even though there wasn't a Torah of Ram Avinu, because he searched, searched for the truth in the world, he came to recognize that there, as a creative, there's a capital, there's a creator that built the capital. So he, he, by watching and analyzing the world, he understood that there's a, a creator to the world, that there's God in the world. In the beginning, Hashem created heaven and earth. So he came to, to realize this and to announce this and, and cause people to know it and to thank Hashem and to be grateful for everything that, that he created in this world. And he continues, And he says there are commandments that when we follow them, they bring grace upon us. And it, it, mamash, but just by following the commandments, there are commandments out of all of the 620 commandments that we have, that, that Hashem gave us, which are in the numerical value of a crown of Keter, 613 from the Torah, and we, and we have seven commandments from our sages together, 613 and seven are 620, which is Keter, a crown. And this, and there are some of the commandments that bestow upon us grace in the eyes of Hashem. And he says, And he says, there are three or four known commandments that bestow grace upon us in the eyes of Hashem. Hashem lo toaluyot and Hashem did not reveal to us what the names of these commandments, the names of these mitzvot. Why letam? Why? Because our sages say, Shamu, Chazal Zecholam Lebracha. Because, because if we would know, we will put all of our attention on these three, four commandments in order that we will have the grace, we'll have grace in the eyes of Hashem. So Hashem did not reveal it. And this is Noach. And this is Noach, that he had the schut and he fulfilled a mitzvah that brought a grace upon him. And, it, and it's hinted in his name, because Noach, it's Nun Chet, and if you change the letters Chet, Nun, the Chen, it's grace. So not only Noach Milshon Menucha, from the word of arresting, but it's also grace, Besiat Adishma, in front of Hashem. And look, it's written, Et Elokim, we know Et Elokim, Italech Noach. And which means that uh, Noach walked, um, we have it over here, Noach walked with God. But if we look at Elohim, the end letters, Elohim, God, Italech uh, walked, Noach, Noach, and we look at the end letters, so, so Elohim ends with a mem, Italech ends with a chet, uh, with a chaf, slicha, and Noach ends with a chet. So we have mem. Chaf and Chet, which is Chacham, wise. 
He was wise, Chacham. And now look, we are going to Parashat Beit Hanan. And it says in Parashat Beit Hanan, ואתם הדבקים בהשם אלוקיכם חיים כולכם היום. That you who cling to Hashem, your God, are alive today. Which means who clings to the truth. How do we do tshuva? Even if we are observant and we keep the commandments, how do we do tshuva? By clinging to Hashem, by clinging to the truth, because the seal of Hashem is truth. So by clinging to the truth and not listening to the lies of the evil inclination, shel yetzerara, by this, besiyat adishma, this is the first, this is the first step that we start doing tshuva. Being true to ourselves and true to Hashem. And by this we also become true to other, to human beings. So, Besiyat Adishmaya, Chacham, Chet is 8, Chaf is 20, Mem is 40, it's 68. 68, Chacham, Besiyat Adishmaya, is Chaim, is life. He who is wise and follows the way of Hashem, that's why it's written that Noah walked with God, which means he followed the way of Hashem, he clinged to the truth, he was wise and clinged to the truth, he seeked for Hashem, he clinged to the truth, and because of this he had grace in the eyes of Hashem. And he followed the commandment, and we will speak about what commandment did Noah, Noah follow, and because of this, the new world, Besiat Adishmaya, was built on Noah and his children, and their wives, Besiat Adishmaya. So we see over here that Chacham is also the numerical value of Chaim. Chet is eight, Yud is ten, and Nadi Yud is ten, Mem is forty, together it's Chaim, it's life. So he, the new world was uh, was built on Noah and and his uh, offsprings, and his toledot. So let's see what a kind of um, what kind of mitzvah did Noah keep that because of this, the whole new world was built on him and his sons and their wives. So it says, Sfatim. It says. It says in Parashat Noach, It says in the Zohar Kadosh that Noach is, is compared to Shabbat. Kibo Shabbat, Shu Shoresh Abriyash Mitihadin Beshabbat Kodesh, Li Debek Beshoresh Achdut. Which means that Shabbat is the root, the root of, 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 of the whole world. And Shabbat is the root of unity. The whole world comes to unity on Shabbat. We know We know that Hashem created the world in six days. On the seventh day, Hashem rested. So it says, Ben Noach, and we know that Masachet Sanhedrin says, page 58, Amud Bet, it says, Ben Noach, Shabbat Chayav Mita. Which means that, um, the children of Noah, that if they keep Shabbat, their decree is death. So what did what did Noah do? We are going now to the Sefer Tikkuni Azor, and the Tikkun number twenty one, Tikkuni Azor, Chaf Aleph, page Nun Daled, fifty four Amud Bet. It's written like this: that Noah. זה שבת. נוח is שבת. שבו מנוחה שיורש אותה הצדיק. That there's the resting, that is the resting day, that the צדיק, the righteous, inherits it. נוח דה שבת. תראו כמה זה יפה. That's why it's written, שניים שניים באו אל נוח, which means two of each uh, animals that were not uh, that that were not kosher animals came as pairs, a, a, a male and a female, and the kosher animals came seven by seven, just like Bat Sheva. It says in Tikkun Azor, uh, number twenty-one. And why? Because Noah is like Shabbat, and the Teva was like Shabbat that Noah went inside and rested inside the Teva in the Ark. And what does it mean, Shnei Amin? Because we have two days of Rosh Hashanah, and this is the two days that we means that's why there are two pairs, a male and a female, from all of the animals that were not, that were not kosher animals, and the animals that came 
two at come seven by seven which is the kosher animals like the seven days of sukkot and the seven days of pesach besiata dishmaya shemisha shomer otam otam yamim atid li natsel min agalut bagalut which means he who keeps besiata dishmaya these days bezrat hashem with hashem's help is going to be saved from exile בעזרת השם. So we see, it says שבזמן שיבוא המשיח, כל אלו ששמעו עוד ברית, the ones that, that kept their circumcision and all of their sperm and didn't take them out in vain, ושמרו צדיק, ושבתות וימים טובים, and the Shabbat, and the, and the Yom Tov, and the festivals, בסייעתא דשמיא, they are the ones that will be saved and will be, השם will keep them safe. When, uh, when the time of Mashiach comes, which is, uh, we are now in the time of Mashiach. So, Ketuv Noach da Shabbat. Noach this is Shabbat. And let's go to Tikkun 70. It says in Tikkun 70, Besiyat Adishmaya, Asara Dorot Hayu Me'adam Ve'ad Noach. It's Daf Kuf Lametet 139, Amud Aleph. And it says over there, that Asara Dorot Yom Adam Ve'ad Noach, ten generations from Adam, from from Adam until Noach, and then it says Ve'yu Torchim Begigulim Ad Sheba Noach, and until Noach Ba, they had because there was a curse, uh, I, that there was ten curses that Adam received and and Eve received another ten curses and the land nine curses and the serpent ten curses. You remember thirty nine Melachot. היו טורחים בגלגולים עד שבא נוח שהוא שבת ובו נחו כולם. Until נוח came, that he is considered שבת, and everybody rested. So look how beautiful it is. זאת אומרת שנוח is considered שבת. So what kind of מצווה? This is a hint. So what מצווה gave grace upon נוח בסייעתא דשמיא, and השם in the eyes that brought in a grace uh, in the eyes of Hashem for Noach, the Shabbat, keeping the Shabbat. So I'm going back to Orach Chaim HaKadosh. And Orach Chaim HaKadosh says like this, in Parashat Bereshit. And he says like this, Ki sheshet yamim asa Hashem et ha-shamayim ve-et ha-aretz, that six days Hashem created heaven and earth. Hare gila ki bishad abriya lo bara Hashem koach ba-olam zulat la-amod sheshet yamim. Which means this gives us a hint that Hashem gave creation, koach, power, only to, to stay, to exist for six days. And, and v'nitchakem Hashem, u'bara yom echad, and Hashem, in His uh, wisdom, uh, created one, one day, echad, which day is considered echad, the Shabbat is considered echad, הוא ייבדע להשם, ובו ביום חזר השם ומשפיע נפש לעולם, לעולם. And at that day, which is the day of Shabbat, the day of rest, that Hashem rested on that day, בסייעתא דשמיא, from this day Hashem brings livelihood to another six days. Otherwise there's no continuation to the creation. And it says, המקיים עוד שישה ימים, וכן זה, and this is every week the same thing. וזולת זה היום העולם חרב בגמר ששת ימים. And if there wouldn't be existence for Shabbat, the world will be eliminated and goes back to chaos, to Tovavu, after, after the six days of the week. Can you imagine? וצריך השם להכינו פעם שנית. And Hashem has to create again the world the second time. ובאמצעות Shabbat העולם עומד. And because of Shabbat, the whole world stands. Because there's unity, there's peace. Even the wicked that are in hell, the fire is eliminated on Shabbat. Can you imagine this? Shabbat mikol melachto. That Hashem rested from all of His work, from all of His creation. Mikol melacha shiabriya atzma, the creation itself. Ki lo matikun shoma selevat Shabbat, ela gam ma'abriya. Hashem rested from all of the creation. And it says, Shabriya, the creation is yesh me'ayin, which means that it's from nothing came to existence. Ve'huma shenibra be'yom rishon be'dibur echad. And this was created in the first day from one speech of Hashem. Everything was created. 
and had the the essence of everything that will grow from the from earth and all and, and all of the stars and the moon and the and, and the sun everything had one the essence of Hashem in one speech that Hashem gave on the first day and by the and by Shabbat when Shabbat comes there's a there's a Hashem brings a, a spirit and from this all of the six days the, the, the coming six days are created and that's why it's written in Shabbat in Masachat Shabbat בגמרא מסכת שבת page 119 עמוד ב' כל המקדש everybody that does the kiddush and says ויחולו השמיים בארץ בכל צבעם כאילו נעשה שותף לקדוש ברוך הוא מבעשה בראשית we became partners with Hashem in the creation in the cre- can you imagine every a Jew that keeps Shabbat, every UD that keeps Shabbat becomes a partner to Hashem for the creation. And our Chaim HaKadosh says, how can it be? How can it become a partner after anyway, Hashem already created the creation. So, Mishama Kazot Shehavah Odan Vishtatef Bedavar Shekmar Nigmera Melachto. Ein Achar Maase Klum. And what is he going to be a partner of? Because Hashem already created the whole world. And he says that this, by keeping the Shabbat, because the Shabbat gives a power, spiritual power for, to, to create the, six, the following six days, and after these six says another Shabbat comes and by keeping the Shabbat another six days are created so this key Shabbat Shabbat if we do not keep the Shabbat there's no Shabbat and there's no continuation for the world so let's go back to Shabbat we know that when Hashem created the six days, then Shabbat came in front of Hashem, and then it says, "Ve'achulo Hashemayim v'aretz v'chol tseva." So it says in chapter two in Bereshit, in the portion of Bereshit, that uh, thus the heaven and earth were finished, and all of, it, of of their array. And then by the seven days, God completed His work which He had done, and He abstained. On the seventh day, which means he rested on the seventh day from all of his work which he has done. God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because on on it he abstained, he rested from all of his work which God created to, to make. Now the seventh day is the Sharvit. Okay, the seventh day is Masigi Shavit. It's you know the king that has a scepter. It's called the scepter. Scepter. Okay, on the so the scepter of Hashem is Shabbat, and Hashem gave it to the Jewish people to His children Bnei Bachor Israel. We were chosen to be His firstborns. So he gave it to the Jewish people in order to keep the Shabbat. And by this, we keep the world, Besiyat HaDishmaya. So we see that on the seventh day, Bezrat Hashem, Hashem, it's a present to keep the seventh day. So it says, Or HaChaim HaKadosh says, that from the beginning of creation, Ki meyom bero elokim adam lo chasar olam davar amamid. There wasn't always there was one human being that kept Shabbat. So he said, Sadiq yesod olam, which is the righteous is the foundation of the world. And this is from Mishlei that King Solomon said, uh, wrote on chapter 10, verse 25. So it says, there was always a righteous uh, that kept the world going and which was and keeping Shabbat. So we know the Ki Adam Shomer Shabbat, which means Adam kept the Shabbat. Ki Adam Shomer Shabbat haya alav shalom. And it says after Adam, Adam kept Shabbat, his son Shet 
kept Shabbat. You remember Cain killed Hevel, and after that, Adam knew his wife, and together they had a son whose name was Shet, and Shet was just like his father, like Adam. So, Kuzot Meret Kayat Sadiq Gamu, he was a total righteous, perfect righteous man. And, and after that, Metushelach kept Shabbat, and Noach kept Shabbat, kept Shabbat. And you, if you will ask that, the children of Noach are not allowed to keep Shabbat, but all of this was before us receiving the Torah, before the children of Israel received the Torah. So Noach kept Shabbat, and Shem kept Shabbat, and Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov kept Shabbat. And because of the, all of these righteous uh, tzaddikim, all of these righteous tzaddikim, the whole world was standing. Even when we were in Egypt, we kept Shabbat. And we know that Moshe Rabbeinu went to Pharaoh and he told him, you can't make the slaves work seven days because they will die and you won't have any more people to work for you. So you should give them one day to rest. And Moshe gave them, and he told him, okay, give them a day, and Moshe gave them Shabbat. So they kept Shabbat besiyat adishma, and bizchut ze, vayachulu, vahagam, and it's written, vayachulu, kamadat haolami becheshek akbalat, zot omer, by keeping the, the Shabbat, we, we bring orm hamakif, vayashar banelamot, which means we bring light, external light for all of the worlds. And by eating the three meals of Shabbat and by having divrei Torah around the table besiyat adishmaya in on the meals besiyat adishmaya and by and by having zmirot bezrat Hashem songs on Shabbat, all of this brings the internal light and the external light bezrat Hashem of Shabbat to all of the worlds. So Shabbat asked Hashem. It says in the midrash that Shabbat is told Hashem Hashem. All of the days of the week, they have partners. The Sunday has Monday, Tuesday has Wednesday, Thursday has, uh, has Friday. But I don't have a partner. Hashem said, your partner is going to be the children of Israel who will keep Shabbat. And all of the righteous from the beginning until Ma'amad Har Sinai, until we, re we receive the Torah on Mount Sinai. So we see over here that by keeping Shabbat, we become partners, and by saying, we become partners with Hashem in creation of another six days. And we know that the Ramak said that every day, because Hashem created the six days and He rested on the seventh day. On the seventh day. So every day was really a day that included, included 28 hours and not 24 hours. So... Every one of the days, the Ramak, Rabbi Moshe Kordover, Alav Shlom Sotot again, Elenu says that every day gave four hours from his day. So four hours that Sunday gave, and Monday gave four hours, Tuesday gave four hours, and then Wednesday gave four hours, Thursday four hours, and, and Friday four hours, six days multiplied by four, it's 24 hours that they gave Shabbat. So from this, Besiyata Dishmaya, look at the generosity that they shared, the hours that they had. And you know, 28 is Koach, because 20 in numerical value is the letter Chaf, and 8 is the letter Chet, which is Koach, power. Like the 10 fingers that we have, and how many parts do we have in each finger? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 plus 14 is 28. Ten, five fingers, five fingers together is the ten speeches that Hashem created the world. So we can see that Noah, by keeping Shabbat, Hashem gave him, he, he had grace in the eyes of Hashem. So this is one of the mitzvot that Or Chaim HaKadosh did not reveal to us. Three or four mitzvot that bring grace in the eyes of Hashem. But now we know that Shabbat brings grace in the eyes of Hashem. So we'll, we'll continue and see Besiyat Adishmaya. We are continuing and we're going to Sefer Yetzirah, to the book that, of the creation that was considered in, that Abraham Avinu wrote it. And it says in Perek Dalid in chapter 4, Mishnah 11, and it's by the Arizal and the Gaon Mevilna, it says, 
המליך תף בחן, דת השם, put as a, as a, a king, the letter tav from the Hebrew Aleph Bet, which is the, the last letter of the Hebrew Aleph Bet, the tav, bechen, with grace, ve'tzar bo tzedek ba'olam, and he put uh, the uh, uh, tzedek, which is uh, righteous in the world, yom shvi'i ba'shana, and also the seventh day. Po banefesh, and pe banefesh, and, and the mouth in the nefesh in the soul. And tzedek is not only, it's also, also the star that is called, the planet that is called tzedek. Vahaynu sheyom ha-shabbat, which means that the seventh day, miyuchad liyot ha-nivraim, ma'alin chen lefanav itbarach. That when we keep the Shabbat, we have, we, as Hashem, we find grace in the eyes of Hashem. This is what the book of Yitzhira says, of the creation, says. And this is the existence of the whole world. Like it's written in Bereshit chapter 1, verse 31. That Hashem looked at everything that he created and it was very good. And the Midrash Bereshit Rabbah says, Amar HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Olami, Halvai Shetemal, Shetiyeh Ma'ale Chen Lefanai Kol Ha'amim Kasha Azot. That Hashem said that, I wish that, Bezrat Hashem, that, like, I see that everything is very good, that everything that I created, says Hashem, that, that there will be grace in front of my eyes all of the days, just like in this hour that I see that it was good that I created the world. And we go besiyat adishma le'imrei noam, and he says about it in parashat noach. It's written, Soar ta'ase la'teva. In parashat noach it's written, Soar ta'ase la'teva. And what does it mean, Soar? It means make a window, um, a window in the ark. And it says the, uh, the it says metalmud yerushalmi, masachet psachim, it says like this, noach beknesato la'teva, that when he went into the ark, because everything was closed, so he put uh, precious stones. When the precious stones didn't have light in them, they were dark. He knew that this is the daytime. And when they were sparkling, and he knew that this is night. So it says, a window you should make to the ark. So he says about this, and Imrei Noam, Yadua, Shenoach Meramez al Shabbat, we know, we know by the Zohar Kadosh, and we just went through it, that Noach hints for Shabbat, and we know because it comes from the word Menucha, resting. So, and not only that, we, we know that um, Noach had grace in the eyes of Hashem, and Noach, Nun Chet, is the letters of grace, which is Chen. And we know by the Sefer Yetzirah, by the Book of Creation, that Hashem uh, put, put that all letter Tath and, and with grace and created Shabbat. And this is what is written, that Noach Matzachechen, which means Noach found grace in the eyes of Hashem. And he says, Imri Noam, that this is a hint that Tzohar ta'asel ha-teva, that, that you should make a window to the teva. Ki Tzohar, Tzohar a window, im teva, with the teva, the ark, ole Shabbat. The numerical value is Shabbat. Shabbat, Shin is 300, Taf is 400, Bet is 2, together it's 702. And then we have Teva, the Ark, Taf is 400, Bet is 2, He is 5, together is 407. And we have Tzohar, which is the window, uh, and Tzadik is 90, He is 5, Reish is 200, together it's 295. 295 plus 407 is exactly 702. 702 is Shabbat. So by, the, by what Hashem told uh, the, uh, the, um, the instructions how to build the ark to Noach, he told them, make a window, you should make a window in the ark. Window in Hebrew is Tzohar. Ark is Teva, 
Soha window and Teva and the Ark together numerical value equals Shabbat. So, so from, he tells us that we will know that by Noah keeping the Shabbat, you remember we said that each one, because of this, there was a livelihood to the creation to another six days and we became partners of Hashem Vesiyata Dishmaya in the creation, which is a very, a very big thing. So from here we know that's why it's written twice Noah, because it's written Ele Toldot Noah, these, this is the offsprings of Noah, Noah is tzaddik, tamim haya betorotav, Noah was righteous and, a, and was a, a perfect in his generations. Why is it twice Noah? Because Noah itself hints us of Shabbat, because on Shabbat it's, it was the resting day, Yom Menucha, Hashem rested on Shabbat. But Toldot Noah, the offsprings of Noah, these are the, this is the hint that Noah kept Shabbat and his uh, offsprings is the six days that came after that. Because of this, Hashem created the new world with Noah and his descendants. Can you imagine? Uh, uh, yeah. This is, uh, and the, by Noah. So, Please, ladies, uh, mute yourselves. So, Besiata Rishmaya, we see that by Noah keeping the Shabbat, mm -hmm. the, uh, Noah, uh, uh, because of this, Hashem created the new world with Noah and his descendants. I'm going to go to Balatanya. And Balatanya says, at the end of the Kontras Acharon, he says like this. Before he says that people should do tshuva besiata dishmaya, and he says veliot mechamat chalishut ador, because this generation is uh, is uh, weak. Ein koach bechol echad bechad lit anot karaui. There's no, there's no, there's no uh, strength in uh, our power in each and every one of us to fast for all of the sins that we did. Lazot in order to take off all of her sins, he gives us an advice. It's written in Masechet Shabbat, page 118, Amud Bet. He or she who keeps Shabbat by the Jewish commandments, all of his sins are forgiven, just like the door of Enosh. Which means mamash to keep the Shabbat by the Jewish laws. Which means we should learn the Jewish laws of Shabbat and to be careful. He says, pay attention. And this is what Hashem gives us a hint also in the uh, bin, building the ark because it says over there began Yisrael mot shalol asuach. Shum sicha betelachas v'shalom. Not to speak any, any uh, nonsense on Shabbat. Only holy things and things for our livelihood on Shabbat. And he says, "Beyot muda adzot leod eichen ki bechol mitzvot is pnimiut bechitzoniut." Because every mitzvah has a internal light and external light. Vechitzoniut mei Shabbat and the external light of keeping the Shabbat. He shvita mei asiyah gashmi that we do not work on Shabbat, we rest on Shabbat. Kmo she Shabbat Hashem asot shamayim v'aretz gashmim, just like Hashem rested and he, and he didn't do any, uh, he didn't do any uh, action of creation on Shabbat, but he rested on Shabbat. Ufnimit, and the internal light of Shabbat, Ufnimit a Shabbat, hi a kavana bitfilat a Shabbat u betalmud Torah. Which means the kavana, the intention that we have on our prayers on Shabbat, on the davening of Shabbat, and learning Torah on Shabbat besiyat adishmaya, and all of the suudot of Shabbat, ledafka ba'ashem echad to cling to Hashem that is one besiyat adishmaya. Shema Yisrael Hashem elokenu Hashem echad. Kud shaberi choraita v'Yisrael chadu. The Zohar Karabi Shimon Bar Yochai said in the Zohar Kadosh that Hashem and the Torah and the children of Israel are one and Shabbat is considered one. So, Besiyat Adishmaya, Vezoi Pchinat Zachor Veshamor. This is the essence of to remember and to keep Shabbat. Bepnimiyut, Himishvita Mediburim, which means from the, from the inside is keeping Shabbat by, by not speaking anything that is, uh, that is considered a... Uh, 
a speech of the six days. No, we don't speak about our work. We don't speak has v'shalom about other people. Uh, I, we only speak about holiness and our livelihood and we bless everyone. So how do we know that we need to keep our mouth? So we go again, Tzohar Ta'asel teva, a window you should make for the ark. So teva in Hebrew has another explanation. Teva is also a word. Ze teva. So Besiata Dishmaya, to make a window, Rabbi Dov Ber Mimezrich says, Chutorat Tagelanen Magid Mimezrich says, Tzohar, Milshon, Tzohoraim, Milshon or Gadol, Tzohar means light, Besiata Dishmaya. Velachen, Tzohar Lateva, a person should do a light, a light to the word, to the word, to the to the word that he takes out of his mouth, which means that all, only his word should be words of holiness and words of, of gratitude and words of, of finding the merit of himself and other human beings, that he, especially on Shabbat, that we will pay attention to what we take out of our mouth, Bezrat Hashem. And that every word that we take out of our mouth, especially on Shabbat and all of the week, Besiyat Adishma, that will bring light, light, internal light and external light to anybody that hears us. And will, this light will cause everybody that hears us and also us because our ears hear everything that we say, and the mouth is, is like the Yesod, the foundation from the Ten Counts of the Kabbalah, and the ear is like Malchut, is like kingdom, because from the ear, the whole of, of the body hears, and by this, we get strength to keep, all, uh, to keep the mitzvot, the commandments of Hashem, and by this, Bezrat Hashem, we keep this, we have a strength to keep Shabbat, and by Noah keeping Shabbat, the whole new world was created by him. Hashem created the new world on him and his sons and their wives. As Besiyat Arishmeh, may Hashem bless us that we will have the schut to keep Shabbat. This is one of the mitzvot that we know that we have grace in the eyes of Hashem when we keep Shabbat. So keep it with a happy heart with the Zmirot Shel Shabbat, with the Divrei Torah, with Torah words on, on Shabbat, and to eat the three meals of Shabbat, because the three meals of Shabbat protect us. The first meal of Shabbat protects us from, uh, um, it's in the merit of Yitzchak Avinu, and pro protects us from Hevlei Mashiach. And it says, this is all is written in, Sh in, in the Gemara, Masechet Shabbat, page 118, Amud Aleph. And so it, it protects us from the suffering of the coming of Mashiach. And then the second meal protect, is parallel to Abraham Avinu and protects us from, from, from Chas Shalom uh, going to hell. And the third meal, which is parallel to Yaakov Avinu, protects us from Milchem Gog from Magog, from World War Three. So Bezrat Hashem, when we keep Shabbat, Kilchata, we become partners just like Noah. We become partners of Hashem, of creation of the, uh, the next six days. And this is the same every, every week. It repeats itself. So and we become shutafim la kadosh Baruch Hu, partners with Hashem. And, we, and by this, keeping Shabbat, this is one of the mitzvot that uh, we have grace in the eyes of Hashem. So Bezrat Hashem, may we all have the schut to bring Mashiach Tzitkan Barchamim Vim Mimra Amenu Amen. Eliyahu Navi Zechur Lo Tov Lo Lami Pared Adam Mechavro Bedvar Alacha Yarchid Berabim Alacha Kerabim. And Bezrat Hashem, Talinu Betov Et Akitzu Bishuar Verachamim. Dear ladies, I thank you Hashem and thank you for being with us together. Lo Lami Pared Adam Mechavro Bedvar Alacha Yarchid Berabim Alacha Kerabim.